What if Goku was born in Elite Saiyan? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z Part 14? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion, where we do a what if discussion on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, and Dragon Ball GT. Previously on What If Goku Was Born in Elite Saiyan, we mentioned that the Tournament of Power is getting underway, as Goku and Jiren battle was coming close to an end and from there Goku went and used his Ultra Instinct power while Jiren went and used full power and now they start to attack one another. Goku at his Ultra Instinct proved to be stronger than Jiren, as Jiren didn't stand a chance against Goku even at full power and from there when he was cornered, Jiren has now broke his limit, as he has now transformed into his Limit Breaker. Upon his Limit Breaker transformation, he went and beat the shit out of Ultra Instinct Goku, as Goku didn't stand a chance against him and before he can eliminate him from the tournament, Broly came to fight with Jiren. Gohan went and took care of business as he easily defeated Hits with his Super Mystic Blue and Vegeta fought with Topo but he transformed to his Super Saiyan Blue Evolution and beat it Topo. With that, everyone came to fight Jiren but Jiren went and beat the shit out of everyone as none of them stood a chance against him and he showed the difference between his power and their power. Just before all the odds can be stacked on them, Goku got up as he felt that his body was having a lot of heat and from there Goku went and he transformed into his Master Ultra Instinct. With his transformation, Goku proved to be the far stronger fighter than Jiren. As Jiren didn't stand a chance against Goku, he did everything he can to eliminate him, but Goku managed to go and beat the shit out of Jiren and eliminate him from the tournament. Goku then got the Super Dragon Balls and he wished back for all the universe to be restored again. What if Goku was born in Elite Saiyan Part 14? Goku has now saved the multiverse as he went and wished for everyone to be brought back. In return, Dai Shigen decided to go and offer Goku to come with him and train so he can get him stronger. Goku has agreed to the idea and that he was told that his training session will begin very soon. With that, everyone has now returned right back to their universe as Goku and his friends has gone right back to Boma's home and they've begun celebrating as they are all happy that they have finally won the tournament of power and they saved the multiverse and Goku has proven to be the strongest in the multiverse. Vegeta has gotten the news about his new child Bola as he was really happy he knew that Bomo was pregnant but now she gave labor so he was happy to finally become a father again. Goku after celebrating with his friends has come right back to his lookout where he saw Kami was there and from there he began to relax for a bit and spend some time with his family since he did spend all the time training just for this moment and now it's time for him to relax. From there they went right back to doing their regular routine which is training with each other. Everyone was training at Beerus' world until they saw that Dai Shigen has come and he told Goku to come with him as it's time for him to go and train. With that Goku was very excited as he couldn't wait for his training session to begin with Dai Shigen and from there he has said his goodbye to everyone as he went with Dai Shigen and now they left right back to Zeno's palace beginning to do their training. While Goku was gone, Vegeta, Broly, Nappa, Raditz and Gohan decide to go and train with Whis so that their main goal is to be as strong as Goku. Since they saw in the tournament of power how strong Goku was compared to them, they didn't want to be felt left behind. But while they were training, Supreme Kai has now arrived as he was in a panic mode and from there everybody asked him what happened. This isn't good guys, a evil wizard named Moro. He managed to escape his jail cell from the Galactic Patrol and he's also making his way towards eating other planets. Say what? Moro? Oh that bastard, I know all about him. Well, I'm too tired to do anything with that. I'm gonna go and take a sleep. Please, you go deal with it if you want with the mortals. So helpful Lord Beerus. Anyways, where do you say Moro is right now Supreme Kai? Well from what I remember, he's at Planinamic as we speak. He's trying to gather the Dragon Balls to make a wish. I don't know if it happened or not. Planet Namek? What are you waiting for Supreme Kai? Take us there! I'm not gonna let that bastard hurt anyone! Right, we better hurry then, come on! As Supreme Kai went and he took everyone to Planet Namek. Once when they got there, 
they saw that it was pretty much a ghost town, as most of the life force were already gone, and from there Vegeta got upset and said, What the hell is this guy? You said he was on this planet! It looks like he only came here! I don't know how I miscalculated! I was just watching everything and that's when I came to tell you guys! How did this happen? From there, they saw one of the survivor Namekian was there, as he was just barely holding on to his life and from there Vegeta and everyone went and confronted him and asked him what happened. He then told him that Mora was here, as he managed to collect all the Dragon Balls and use the dragon and on top of that, he ended up absorbing most of the life force. Mora then also learned that Planet Earth has another set of Dragon Balls which are far stronger than the one on Namek and therefore he had a goal to go to Planet Earth and begin his crusade by erasing and absorbing all the life forces. Upon hearing that got the z is really upset since no one's on Planet Earth to save it except for Kami and he isn't strong enough to take on Moro. With that, Supreme Kai went and he quickly kai kai everyone to Planet Earth. Once when they got to Planet Earth, they saw that Moro's men has already spread around the world as they began attacking and gathering energy. At the same time, Kami was trying his best to fight with 73 while Moro was watching everything. With that, 73 went and he was about to go and kill Kami but from there he got kicked in the face by no one other than Gohan. As he looked towards him and said, your battle is going to start with me now. With that, 73 went and he began to copy Gohan's move, as his main technique is to copy people's ability. With that, Moro saw that the Saiyans were there, as he was shocked to see that Saiyans has come to planet Earth and from there, Vegeta and Broly went and confronted him. Hmm, what are some Saiyans doing in this planet? This is my home, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> I'm here to gather the Dragon Balls, and on top of that, I am going to absorb all the life force this planet has the most over my dead body. It is time, Moro, I make you meet your end. <laughs> Bring it on then, I'll just have to end you before you can do anything. As Moro went and he rushed towards Vegeta, and he striked him, but from there, Broly went and decked him in his face, getting Moro to be sent flying. Moro saw that Broly was a different Saiyan, as he was already inside his legendary Super Saiyan. From there, he went and he started to attack Moro, as he didn't even stand a chance against Broly. Moro went and he tried to do everything he can to hit Broly, but Broly was still far stronger than Moro, as he began to choke onto Moro's neck and from there he went and slammed his face towards the ground. Moro felt that his life was slipping as Broly went and punched him non-stop but from there Moro saw that it was time for him to use his trump card as he managed to go and escape from Broly's wrath and he made his way right towards 73. Once when he got there, he then decked Gohan in the face as he quickly went and absorbed 73. <laughs> now this is my true power, let's see what these Saiyans can do to me. Hey, what the heck did you just do? With that, everyone saw that Gohan fell from the lookout as he was knocked out and he landed right next to Vegeta and Broly. They then got concerned on what happened to Gohan but they saw it was Moro as he went and one shot Gohan and now he made his way towards the battlefield. But what did you do? This? This is you can say my full power, it is time I end you guys myself. With that Broly went and rushed towards Moro, as he tried to hit him but Moro went and kicked Broly right in the guts, getting him to gasp for air and from there he went and picked Broly up and he slammed him towards the ground. Broly then got up as he tried to attack Moro but Moro dodged his attack and said, What's the matter, you're too slow now, come on is that all you got? Moro went and kneed Broly in his face as he powered up a blast and aimed it towards him. Broly managed to go and brush the blast away and from there, Vegeta came as he tried to hit Moro but it didn't even phase him. You weakling Saiyan, why are you even trying? Uh, what the? Alright fine Moro, then fight me at my all! Uh... Vegeta has now transformed into his Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. Upon his transformation, Moro was impressed, 
but he knew that it still wasn't enough to fight him as Vegeta went and strike Moro but he went and dodged it. And from there Moro managed to go and copy Vegeta's move since he did have the ability to copy and he started to absorb some of Vegeta's energy. Before anything could happen Broly got up as he went and screamed. Broly has now transformed into a legendary Super Saiyan God. With that transformation, Vegeta came right next to Broly as Broly went and charged right towards Moro and from there both of them decided to go work together to take him down. Broly went and kicked Moro in his face while Vegeta went and striked him in his guts. Moro got sent flying towards the ground and he saw that Broly came and when Moro tried to punch Broly, Broly caught his hand as he twisted it and he managed to break it and from there he kicked him in his face. Due to the fact that he did copy Kami Cell, Moro went and he began to heal his arm as it became right back to 100% and from there he saw that Broly came charging towards him. Moro tried to hit him but Broly was too strong inside his legendary Super Saiyan God as he had no idea just what kind of Saiyan Broly was. Even after absorbing 73, Broly was still powerful and stronger than him. With that, Broly went and punched him in his guts as Moro went and slammed his face towards the ground and he had a trump card that was he began to absorb the entire energy on planet earth as all the earthling and z-fires can feel their energy slipping from their feet as Moro went and he began absorbing after all he is a planet eater. Upon seeing that got Vegeta and Broly concerned as Vegeta powered up a final flash while Broly went and powered up an eraser cannon and they both aimed their wave towards Moro but it didn't even phase him as Moro continued to absorb their energy getting Broly to lose the Super Saiyan God legendary power and he went right back to his legendary Super Saiyan base. With that Moro began to absorb even more but out of nowhere he got punched in the face by no one other than Goku. Goku was already inside his ultra instinct state as he looked towards Moro and from there Moro's head popped out of the earth as he saw that it was no one other than another Saiyan. From there Goku went and punched him again as a lot of spirit came out of Moro. This punch wasn't any ordinary punch, it was a force spirit fission punch allowing Moro to revert right back to his regular base as him and 73 split it due to the fact that Goku's punch was strong enough to get them to be defused. With that Goku went and powered up a massive Kamehameha wave and aimed it right towards Moro as it hit him head on and he died right there. Phew, it's good that I came just in time. Kakarot, how did you end up coming here so fast? <laughs> I just finished my training with Daishinken and while we're training we could sense what's happening on planet earth and when he told me I was done I decided to come here as soon as I can. Thanks to Goku's four spirit fission and has yet again saved the earth as he managed to go and take out the trash and thanks to the Z-Fires and Goku, they have yet again saved planet earth. Everyone decided to go and celebrate Goku's victory and his return as they all went and had a big feast and they were happy that the day was saved by the Z-Fires. While everyone was busy celebrating, far in the galaxy the only survivor of the serial race was going making his way towards different planet as he comes stumbling across one planet and they had the set of Dragon Balls. He then used it and he wished to become the strongest in the universe. Although that wish couldn't happen, he was then informed that planet earth has their own set of dragon balls. What? Earth huh? Ok then looks like I'll make my way towards that planet. As he was told that planet earth's dragon ball has the power to make that wish come true since Goku is his link and therefore Goku is much stronger than everyone and because of that it has increased Shenron's ability to go and grant heavier wishes while Granola decided to go and make his way towards planet earth. Find out what happens in the next episode of what if Goku was born in Elite Saiyan. Make sure you click the bell my Z Saiyan so you'll be the first to know when the next episode comes out. And if you haven't joined my Discord server yet, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it so you can become one of the first Z Fighters.